strap in and get ready for part two of engine out for the TVR EV conversion wedgie build. Please excuse the dodgy beginning, but I thought I'd leave it in for comedy value. Enjoy guys. Hand cam, handy cam. Hello, Stuart. Hi. So, what I'm doing is I am getting all these Jubilee clips off all the fuel system because we're actually going to be taking, I say we, Stuart, is going to be taking out the fuel tanks out of oh my God. the wells here. What have we, we got problems? Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay then. Um, so, yeah, originally the I was thinking maybe the a small drive unit or a motor certainly would go in this section here between the discs, which is rear disc uh, set up, same as the Jag, so they're not actually on the hubs. They're kind of there. Um, ah, oh, tune. Um, yeah, so that's not going to work. So Electrogenic recommended putting uh, in a large... Oh, hello. I didn't mean to do that. All of them a drive large drive unit at the front and then using the uh, prop shaft now still not sure what we're going to do about that because i'm still waiting for a quote from electrogenic so we'll just see what happens and like i said much more strengthening is needed a couple of things was pointed out by uh, my steam colleague here wow. stuart that there's uh, some uh, lack of uh, strength slash quality uh, with regards to those sections there um what do you call these bits mate the the bits where they're there only single um well they're single shear the, the trailing arm inboard mounting points just single shear and they're packed out with just washers and random bits of like metal yes by the look of things it's it's not the most robust design i've ever seen in my life if i'm honest i'm thinking with the amount of torque produced from something like a small or even a large tesla drive unit uh, strength is going to be of the essence. But anyway, I'm going to get on with getting all these clips here off so I can get these fuel tanks and lines out and then uh, we'd have made a bit more progress so we can get the engine out. First fuel tank removal, one of. Hopefully. <laughs> comes into the cabin here if you can see so I'm just trying to loosen all of those Jubilee clips and that is where we'll put the or well, electrogenic what have you we'll put it in there for the electric plug for the juice Do you want some lube, mate? So we might just need to um, undo him and just drop the arm a little bit. Okay, what uh, mil? 17? 19? Yeah, I'll uh, match 17, and 19. Okay. Oh. So ultimately that's where the batteries are going to go, where the fuel tanks come from. Still leaking a little bit of the old uh, go-go juice. Uh, 
think the ones we're keeping are in that one. I don't know where the, the other one was on this. That's over there. Oh, loose engine oh, mounts. Me. Who's worked on this car? Cowboys. Yeah. Right. We've got the uh, engine. Oh, yeah. Where's my pen, Stetson? <laughs> so yeah, we've uh, we only managed to get one of the fuel tanks out because the other one didn't actually come out as it should have done. But we've managed to get the engine loosen off the engine mounts. Um, one of them was loose, uh, which is a bit worrying. Hence the uh, cowboy references and the many yeehaws. Um, but yeah, we've got it kind of just about out. We just need to do a bit of fettling just to uh, get the monster out. We're getting there, we're getting there. Right, so the engine is there, thereabouts out. Um, what we've had to do is because of hoist. Uh, uh, in ability, I suppose, uh, haven't quite got exactly what we need. We, yes, it's not quite high enough, but so we've uh, dropped the front end. So now we are going to be able to get the engine out and it's obviously attached to the gearbox. So yeah, looking uh, fairly spacey in there, doing well. Uh, we're making space for engines. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just swing it over, plonk it down here for the time being, and then we can sort the car out and get that moved over, and then there's a little space to dig around. So if you... I used to quite fancy the idea of TV. Pardon? I used to quite fancy the idea of TV. <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> So what have we been doing? What have we been doing? We've been taking, or namely Stuart's been taking all the bolts away from the body because we're going to lift the body off. Well, we're just going to lift it slightly. Or lift, lift the back slightly to get that, as you can see there, the fuel tank out because it doesn't quite come out as it stands. And we have found a few loose nuts along the way. Is that right, Stuart? <laughs> Yeah, just a couple. A couple of loose nuts. There was one missing one as well, so I'm kind of glad that I did never, I didn't ever get the engine running, uh, because I think that the chassis may well have overtaken the body uh, at some point. The speakers weren't wired in, so that definitely needs rectifying, because um, you can't not have your tunes. Uh, in fact, where have the tunes gone? The tunes, the tunes have turned off. You were in charge of the I was. Oh, I've got to be in charge of something. So yeah, so we're going to lift up the back slightly. Engine's out, of course, sat there. So yeah, we are really motoring. We are in sixth gear, cruising. So yeah, let's get some tunes on and uh, crack on. Body separation right, no. after one pesky bolt. Can we get the power out? I can't believe you didn't pump all the fuel out. That's so annoying. Just when you thought all the fuel was gone. Lift it up a bit more. Well, it just needs to come down a bit more. I'm just trying to keep an eye on anything that might. Jam and cool 
was trouble. Oh, there we go. Come on, you beauty. As you can see, that is where the hole Ooh. is, where the fuel cap is, oh. goes up to. A mother trucker indeed. Oh! So yeah, slightly off the old body there. The amount of screws I'm done for that beauty. So, much space for many batteries, yes? Hmm. So we have managed to get the last fuel tank out and we're just slowly putting it back together. Body's back on the chassis. Just finishing off putting the side skirts on it. And then we're gonna have a tidy up. There we go. It is now the jacked up crossover version of the TVR wedge. Oh, how did you do it, Stuart? Uh, special skills, mate. Oh, special skills to turn a TVR sports car into a jacked up uh, crossover. Very nice. As you can see, we've taken all those bits off the car, including the engine. So that's the engine, manifold, the fuel tanks, um, exhaust, and uh, we've also uh, taken all the bits out that we don't need, essentially. So. Ooh, I mean, what a day. I mean, thanks to Stuart. Otherwise, there's no way I would have come even close to getting all that done. Um, so uh, that's great uh, help from him. Thank you, Stuart, when you're watching this. But yeah, no, so we've just got to wait for Electrogenic um, to come back to us because I'm just waiting for their ideas around uh, electric motors. Um, and uh, yeah, see, see what's going to best fit the wedge. Um, there are quite a few other things that need doing, as you can probably tell, the interior, um, the bodywork. Now I've had it under the lights and that, it doesn't, doesn't actually uh, look as good as I thought it might be. Um, again, polish it back, see how it get, gets on, and uh, yeah, see how we go on. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode. Uh, not of so much the build, but uh, with regards to our visit, check it out.